What's up YouTube? Today I want to talk to you about eyeshadow creasing. You know what I'm talking about. You put on your makeup in the morning and it looks amazing. And then you go into work and what happens? A couple of hours later you go into the bathroom, you catch yourself in the mirror and your eyeshadow is all over the freaking place. Nowhere where you left it. It's all up in your crease. So I wanted to share with you what I found out recently which is a method to prevent this stupid eyeshadow creasing. Um, I, th I thought I was doomed to never being able to wear eyeshadow or only limiting myself to wearing eyeshadow for two hours because that's the limit on my eyeshadow or I, I would I would not blink because I didn't want people to see how much in trouble my eyes were because of my eyeshadow while getting accumulated up in my creases um, so I, I also think that you monolid girls have not this to worry about I think I, I hear, you know, monolitters complaining a lot about certain eye makeup looks, but I think this is not one of your problems. So, I mean, if I'm wrong, let me know, but I don't think this is a monolitter problem. Um, so, what I wanted to share with you is three steps, and they're completely foolproof for me, and so I'll get on with it. Step one is to use Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Now notice I didn't say just use eye primer, because they are all different formulations, and I have only had luck with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I've tried Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I've tried the Smashbox one, I mean the only one that works for me and doesn't crease is the Urban Decay's Primer Potion. It seriously lives up to the hype. If you've never tried it before, I would say that this step is the key step in making your eyeshadow not crease. If it is one thing you take away from this tutorial lecture talk, let it be to used Urban Decay's primer potion. If it is one thing you invest in, make it be the eye primer potion because it helps the color stick onto your eyelids where you left it, not help it, you know, get into your eye creases. The second step is, by contrast, I think the least important step out of the three. I sometimes skip it when I'm in a hurry, but I really try not to. I think you would get good results if you went steps one and three but I think you would get great results if you do steps one, two, and three. So step two is to use a cream base on top of the primer potion. So I know that sounds really counterintuitive because if I put a cream base on top of just straight up uh, eyelid without putting on eye primer, my eyelids become a slip and slide. Like, it, there's, no, there's no hope at all for eyeshadow staying on my eyelids where I want them to. So use the cream base on top of the primer potion in order to help the eyeshadow stick to the base to the primer potion. Um, I would recommend the NYX uh, eyeshadow base that comes in the little jar or the Stila smudge crayon which I believe is also waterproof. Just put on the product wherever you would put on eyeshadow. And I've used the NYX jumbo pencils and I don't, I don't know if they're a different formula. It just it doesn't work as well for me. I use the one in the in the little jar. Admittedly, I like the Stila one a lot better because it's just a crayon and then I could color on my eyelids rather than dipping into a thing and then doing that. So back and forth. The, the, the Stila smudge crayon is just a lot faster for me. So I prefer that one. And step three is of course the actual eyeshadow. I urge you to use good quality eyeshadow. If you've been only using drugstore eyeshadows and you've been having this problem of creasing, I highly recommend that you go out and try, just like if you're short on money, just get a single color from MAC or Makeup Forever or Urban Decay. Just get the smallest thing that you can find. Do a monotone look, a monocolor look for a day and see how much that changes how your makeup comes out because it makes a big difference. And put all three together, it is foolproof, like I said, for me. It is my Bible that I go by when I put on eyeshadow. It's the Urban Decay Primer Potion, it's the cream base, and then it's the high quality eyeshadow. And I, I, if you go drugstore, the one that I could recommend is L'Oreal's High Intensity Pigment ones. Uh, I haven't, so admittedly, ever since I been really frustrated with all my creasing. I haven't gone back to drugstore since to try out any of the new products, but I, I'm, I'm really discouraged by going back there and I swear by the higher end products again like MAC, Urban Decay, and uh, Makeup Forever. I haven't had any problems with them. I will crease with those formulas 
a little bit like by the end of the day I'll crease a little bit without primer but put all three together and put all three steps together and it is 100% exactly the way I put it on in the morning and just as a testament a few months ago uh, I went out with a girlfriend and I went to bed with my makeup on and I woke up and my makeup was flaw friggin less like you would not be able to tell that I slept in my makeup and woke up like that. It was like I could have gone out in that look if I wanted to. I mean, I I obviously washed my face in the morning to get all that off because it had been on for like 12 hours, but uh it looked amazing and I attribute it completely to the methodology that I use. That I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion, that I use a base, a cream base, and then I use good quality makeup on top of that. Good quality eyeshadow on top of that. So those are my tips. If you have any tips for me, if you've also been able to combat this eyeshadow creasing problem, please let me know. I'm always up for hearing tips and solutions. I hope that if you've had this problem that I've helped you. And if you try it out, please let me know how much it worked for you. I would love to hear from you. Um, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. I'm also on other social media like Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. Uh, there's so many out there. I'm on almost all of them and my blog is beauty.chloe-win.com I actually update my blog more frequently than I update YouTube so visit my blog for more pictures and more updates and Yeah, uh, reach out to me. I would love to hear from you and until then I'll talk to you soon. Bye